Hey Wildcats, my name is Jackie Hernandez and I'm a junior at Brawley Union High School. What's up everyone? My name is Nathan May and I'm standing in the, in the middle of our beautiful Brawley campus, home of the Wildcats. My name is Angel and welcome to BUHS. Now sadly, due to COVID, you couldn't be here, but we're here to give you the virtual experience. What's up everyone? My name is Tamara Robles and I'm a senior here at BUHS as long as you're ASB Vice President. So I just want you guys to sit back and enjoy the tour. of our high school. Over here we have a directory. If you want to continue through these doors you have the school district office which has a lot of different things for the adults. If you continue this way you have more student-based services such as the discipline office, the attendance office, and the counseling center. This is the attendance office. If you're ever late or need to leave school early this is the place you'd come. Center and following inside so I can be So usually there's a sign-in sheet here where you sign in the time and all that and then you wait to be admitted by your counselor. And down this hall is the offices of all the counselors for each grade level. In this hallway you can find student services along with administration. But personally my favorite thing about this hallway is the echo. This is the administration office. Here you can find all of the principal's offices along with their secretaries. So this is one of our two security guard booths and here people like Ruben Villa uh, monitor our school safety. So everyone that comes in, he makes sure that they have the right credentials to be in the school. And for kids, when they come in, if they're late, and they will check in here to make sure they're okay to be. Here we have the infamous Palmer Auditorium. This auditorium is home to our school assemblies, school plays, and other very important events that can hold a lot of people. And this is our Palmer Auditorium. And this is our ASB office. This is where all ASB officers meet to plan events. Come inside. Why is it club? BUHS ASB is not only dedicated to give out the best experience to the students, but also to the community of Raleigh. Here we have our cafeteria, where students can come and receive a lunch, breakfast, or a nutritional snack. Here we have another thing that is extremely convenient about our cafeteria. Students can walk up and pick up their lunch from inside without even having to go inside the actual cafeteria. You can also decide what you feel like eating based on the different types of foods and meals that they have planned out for you.
rides, dances, and much more. And if you look at this view, one of the biggest buildings on this campus is the new gym. The new gym is a lot like the old gym. We use it for pep rallies, and except we use this for orientation also because it's a much bigger space. Also in the new gym, we have the locker rooms. The locker room is where our athletes change to get ready to take practice for their sport. If you go down that way, it's locked right now, but if you go down that way, we have the Hall of Fame. Other than that, they just use this gym. Volleyball uses it to play volleyball, and basketball uses it to play basketball. There's not much to it. This is the newest establishment at our high school. It is like a mini fitness room, full of cardio machines. It can be used for students and staff, but we don't really know yet because of COVID-19. This field right here, this is my favorite field because this is where us football players, we come and practice Monday through Thursday in order to perform for the best of our ability for you guys Friday night. But besides that, school-wise, it's also our PE field where the PE teachers take their students out to run laps or play school-approved sports. Here we have our softball field. All of our softball players use this freshman, varsity, and JV. It is well kept up, as you can see by all the colors over here, as well as our very new billboard. It is a great place for school spirit, as well as softball games. Here's my personal favorite spot on campus, the BOHS tennis courts. Here, not only the girls tennis team and boys tennis team practice, but PE classes use it to stretch and play other activities. Here we have another form of our athletics here at the high school. This is our girls' wrestling room. They are CIF champions and master champions. Now let's head to the boys' wrestling room. And now we're in the boys' wrestling room. Here we have a very important part of BUHS athletics. They are 20 times CIF champions and a very important program to our school and our community. Another thing that I really enjoy here about BUHS is how they separate all of the school based on the subject. This right here is our English wing, home to some of the best English teachers in all of Raleigh and maybe even all of the Valley. We have AP English Language with Ms. Seeger, AP English Literature with Ms. Drysdale, and then we have Ms. Ross with Gate Honors English and Ms. Tombaugh with Honors English too. In addition to our normal English classes, we also have medical English, which students can take if they're interested in doing something with medicine, nursing, or becoming a doctor. Hey, so now we're in one of the most important buildings in the school, the science building. If you follow me over here, this is one of the most well-known buildings, our well-known classrooms, room 35, Ms. Milan's classroom. Come on inside. This is one of the most well-known, not just because of the awesome teacher that we have, but because of the lab. The lab, before all these, these chairs were up here, we were able to do anything from microscopes, testing pH systems, anything you can name, we probably did it. Ms. Milan taught biology and she also taught anatomy and physiology. Hold on. Oh, follow me. This is Miss Levy's classroom. She teaches AP Bio and Chemistry. If you come in here and you notice, it also has a lab. Except, since she teaches AP Bio and Chemistry, it has also the most advanced chemicals for students that are trustworthy and able to use them without injury themselves or others. In this magnificent building, including Miss Levy and Miss Milan, we have six total teachers, four of which that have labs, like the ones I just showed you. Hello guys, my name is Jose Luis Barrera and I'm a, a mathematics and computer science teacher at Brown Union High School. I've been teaching at Brown Union High School for 17 years 
and over the past couple years we have made strides when it comes to uh, math and our performance when it comes to the state test. Um, we have made a lot of different transitions throughout the years. I feel that we have a really uh, strong team that co collaborates with each other. Uh, we uh, all constantly check on the pacing guide to see how we're doing in school together at the same time and always try to give each other tips of how to, we can make a lesson better when it comes to uh, when, when we have collaborative meetings as a math department. Um, we also think, I also think that we do a great job trying to encourage the students to do good on the state test, not only because we want them to succeed when it comes to the math, but also we try to campaign and kind of like promote to them that doing good on the math test is, uh, is kind of like a sense of pride when it comes to for them as being students at Brown Union High School and that they not only put their name on a, on a high uh, level, but also the, the school as a whole. Uh, so once again, throughout the years, we have been doing that. And uh, you know, we have a little bump on the road right now with the, when it comes with the pandemic, but we're still trying to do our best that we can as a, as a team, collaborating with each other, meeting, uh, having Zoom meetings every, uh, every week as a, as a math department as a whole sometimes, but sometimes as, as, as level groups when it comes to integrated math one, math two, and math three. So hopefully um, you guys uh, appreciate this video and thank you for your time. All right, if you guys will follow me, we'll go to our next class. Our next class is the famous Room 69, the history class. It's Miss O.C. Geddes class. Miss O.C. teaches both AP World History and regular world history. Now obviously our class didn't look like this before, but due to COVID, it, we had some changes. But before, it used to, have, it used to be filled with students having fun learning everything in geography to world cultures all around the globe. Besides Miss Osi, we also have different history teachers like Mr. Hernandez, Mr. Martinez, Mr. Munez, and Mr. Whitehead. Hola, or hello. This is one of our foreign classes that we have here in BUHS. Usually we just teach Spanish, and um, for Spanish we have Spanish 1, 2, and 3, and then we also have Intro to Spanish and AP Spanish. Personally, I took AP Spanish and it was a pretty fun class because the teacher gets really um, well into the subject. And it's just a wonderful um, class to take if you know Spanish or if you want to learn Spanish. This is Mrs. Mugia's office. She is the Director of Curriculum and Instruction. She's a very important person at the school. She's so kind and always has a bright smile. And over here we have the technology lab. Um, it has computers and stuff in it, but it could also be used for AP testing and SAT testing. And here we have our music building, or performing arts center. And here we have drama, and our band room, which can also be used for not only choir, but musical appreciation and band as well. If you come into one of these, this is where all of the people who play instruments, whether it be honors band, orchestra, all keep their instruments, as you can clearly see. This is where our band and other people who are interested in pursuing visual arts practice and perfect their talents. It is very beneficial to our school because they not only show school spirit, but they also keep all of the students entertained. This here is our drama room. Now right now it may not look the way it used to, but this is where all the different people who are interested in the performing arts, specifically acting, come to practice. This room is home to the drama club and the drama class. As you can see here, it also holds props, as well as a mini stage. This building that you're standing in is considered to be one of our bigger computer labs. Obviously, you can see all the computers that are here. Now, if you follow me on this way, we can walk and talk as you go ahead and look around. This classroom is Mr. Archer's classroom. Mr. Archer teaches both graphic design one and graphic design too, all of which use these computers. These computers include stuff as any Adobe software, also a lot of online softwares that all the students have to learn how to use. So if you come this way a little bit, you'll see this door right here. Now this door due to COVID is locked right now, but inside is the film room. This is a really big room that is used by students for weekly updates. The weekly updates are sent to students weekly, obviously, and that update them on everything. So this room is very important to us in getting information around. We also use this room for any type of photo shoots or recording that any students might want to do. This is our VHS art room. 
This room is usually filled with a bunch of different pieces of artwork and the wonderful smell of paint. Right now, though, due to COVID, everything has been taken down, but it is one of the nicest rooms and most creative rooms in all of the UHS. So here's our ad classroom. In here, uh, it's decorated really nicely, but sadly we can't go in there today. Um, but in this, for this class, we raised livestock animals like goats and chickens and cows for the fair. Um, we also do contests um, like public speaking. It helps a lot with public speaking. And then we have a greenhouse that is still currently uh, on its way to become a greenhouse. And then we have our locker that we take to the fair with all our feed and stuff. And yeah. So this is one of our like health career CTE classes. Um, and here they learn like medical terminology and it's set up to where it's like a real life experience sort of. And you check stuff like their vitals and their blood pressure and it really, it's really good to help your students learn about their students. Come and get it! This is our culinary arts room. And this is where students can learn how to cook, bake, and clean and do other very important things that are helpful to our students when they become adults. It comes fully equipped with a full kitchen as well as an oven, refrigerator, and stovetop grill. Instead of desks, students use these flat stainless steel countertops where they can cook and prepare meals. It also comes with an oven and a very large sink to wash and clean the dishes that they dirty. It also comes with a washer and dryer and other home appliances that you usually have in your house as they teach home economics. It also comes with a freezer and refrigerator, which are also very beneficial for this classroom and course. Oh hey, you see this building right here? This building is one of our CTE courses known as electrical. Students that want to can apply for this class and they come here and they work on well, wiring. It helps greatly with our community because it teaches them how to wire houses to help build houses for well, our community. Now if you flip around and you come walk this way, we have that building over there which is locked right now. That's another CTE course where students learn to weld. Welding is also a very important part of our community because it teaches people how to put metal together to build stuff all the way from chairs to brand new motors. Stuff. These are all the desks where the students sit, and yeah. Oh hey, didn't see you there. This is our school library. Students can come here to study, check out books, or just get some quiet time. Students also come here to get homework help or tutoring time after school or before school. At our school, we offer ROP, and there are different types of ROP, but this specifically is landscaping ROP. Here they will plant different types of foliage and plants and also make different walkways and make our campus green and beautiful. Here at BOHS, one of our main focuses are BOHS core values. These values we take into account every day at school. We are resilient with our schoolwork and through our tough times. We are respectful to all of our teachers. We are responsible with all of our schoolwork and we're always kind to others. We also show integrity and honesty with everything that we do. Hi guys, it's Felicity Tombach, your ASP president, and I'm standing here in front of Warner Field, the heart of BUHS and the home of Bradley football. As I'm standing here, I reflect how BUHS not only impacted my life, but all the other students that attend school. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and please enjoy the rest of your week at BUHS.